Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the compound interest formula when the number of payments or the length of time or both are large then we use the compound interest formula because in that case the arithmetic involved in finding out the compound interest becomes quite complicated so the compound interest formula is used which saves a great deal of time and the formula is a is equal to p into 1 plus r upon 100 the whole to the power of n where this a is the amount P is the principal. R is the rate of interest per annum, and n is the time in years. so this formula would be used to find out the compound interest easily consider a problem of type 1 in which we have the principal p as 6000 dollars the rate of interest r equal to 10% per annum then n that is the time is equal to 2 years so from this formula we find out the amount at the end of 2 years would be equal to a and this would be equal to p into 1 plus r upon 100 this whole to the power of n now putting the respective values of p r and n we have the amount a equal to 6000 into 1 plus 10 upon 100 this whole raised to the power 2 this is equal to 6000 into 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 so further on solving we get the amount a is equal to 7260 dollars this is the amount at the end of the 2 years and now the required compound interest would be equal to the amount a minus the principal p so this is equal to 7260 dollars minus 6000 dollars and this is equal to 1260 dollars now consider the problems of type 2 when the interest is compounded half yearly in this case we take the principal p as 5000 dollars the time n equal to 
वन ईयर एज द इंटरेस्ट इज कंपाउंडेड हाफ ईयरली सो वी विल कंसिडर द नंबर ऑफ हाफ ईयर्स एज एन सो वन ईयर मीन्स टू हाफ ईयर्स सो दिस मीन्स वी हैव एन इक्वल टू टू नाउ वी टेक द एनुअल रेट इक्वल टू टेन परसेंट सो दिस मीन्स the half yearly rate taken as r would be equal to 10 upon 2 that is 5% so the amount a is equal to principal that is 5000 into 1 plus r which is 5 upon 100 this whole to the power n which is 2 That is, we have used the compound interest formula. So this is equal to five thousand into one hundred and five upon one hundred into one hundred and five upon one hundred. Now, further on solving, we get the amount A equal to. Five thousand five hundred and twelve point five zero dollars. Now the compound interest would be equal to the amount A minus the principal P. So this is equal to five thousand five hundred and twelve point five zero dollars. Minus the principal, which in this case was five thousand dollars. So we have five hundred and twelve point five zero dollars is the compound interest. So this is how we can find out the compound interest when the interest is compounded half yearly. Next, we consider the type three problems when the rate of interest for successive years are different. If suppose we have R1, the rate of interest for the first year, R2 is the rate of interest for the second year, R3. is the rate of interest for the third year then the amount after 3 years is given by a equal to p that is the principal into 1 plus R1 that is the rate of interest for the first year upon 100 this whole into 1 plus R2 which is the rate of interest for the second year upon 100 this whole into 1 plus the rate of interest for the third year which is R3 upon 100 the whole consider a principal p of $4000 the time t be given as Two years, and the rate of interest for the first year, say R1, be equal to five percent. R2, that is the rate of interest for the second year, be ten percent. Then the amount after two years be given by A is equal to. The principal that is four thousand dollars into one plus R one 
which is 5 upon 100 this whole into 1 plus R2 that is 10 upon 100 the whole. This is equal to 4000 into 105 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 dollars. So, we further solve and we get the amount A equal to 4620 dollars that is the amount after 2 years and now the compound interest would be equal to the amount minus the principal which is equal to $4,620 minus the principal which is $4,000 and so the compound interest is equal to $620. So this is how we can find out the compound interest in different cases First, when we are given the principal, the rate of interest and the time and the second, when we are given the condition that the interest is compounded half yearly and third, when the rate of interest for successive years are different. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood how to use the compound interest formula.